if they consider us as Cancer Alley, because so many people are dying from cancer and the air is polluted. You wouldn't know it to look at, but this is one of the most polluted places in America. <laughs> Teacher turned environmental activist Sharon Levine has lived here her whole life. When I started to get sick, I thought that being sick, I was getting older. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't associate it with the, with the, with the smell, with the pollution. Diagnosed with autoimmune hepatitis and aluminium and lead have been found in her body, all as a result, she says, of industrial pollutants. As you drive through this area alongside the Mississippi River, there are dozens of oil refineries and petrochemical plants like this one, and dotted in between them are the small communities that are bearing the brunt of the pollution. The Environmental Protection Agency found people living here are almost 50 times more likely to get cancer. 91% of the population here is black, leading the United Nations to conclude the mainly African-American community is being subjected to environmental racism, and it's urged further development to stop. But as well as endangering the residents' future, development is also threatening their past. There are literally hundreds of thousands of enslaved people buried along this Mississippi River. Kathy Hambrick is working to preserve those unmarked graves. There are descendants who still live in this area and who live around the world and around the country, who deserve to have a voice in, in knowing who these people are and how their stories should be told. Thousands of graves, though, have already been built over by the very industries Levine is fighting. You already don't care about the living and you sure don't care about the dead, so why would you go and disturb a dead person's grave and just plow it up and just throw the bone somewhere else? No, that is wrong because this is David and Goliath, and David is going to win. Levine is now determined to save her past and her future and beat plans for a new petrochemical plant just two miles from her home. Nick Harper, CGTN, Dalsonville, Louisiana.